Hey guys, so I'm going to be going through a Blender tutorial for y'all, um, mostly because a friend is stupid, and yeah, um, it's a little bit late, so <laughs> I'm going to be going a little bit slow. First you just want to go into edit on any game that you want, then clone yourself. I believe already I've already made a video for it. I'll leave it in the description. If I haven't already, I'll make one. Um, when you've cloned yourself, just go into Explorer, make sure it's selected as a model, right click it, uh, click export selection, then just name it whatever you want and place it wherever you want and click save. I already have mine saved. So I'm not going to worry. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to go pop. Okay. So now you're just going to exit out of studio. I, don't, I, I never worry about saving it. Um, go ahead and open up Blender. And when that's opened, it's going to give you like this weird block thing. Um, just press Shift X and then delete. Okay, first the basics in Blender are, uh, you can do, what I usually do is hold down shift and then the center scroll thingy in the mouse, I click it and hold it and it lets me move around and then let go of shift and that's basically the center mouse clicker thingy is what does everything. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to go file, import and look for the obj file um, find your file and, and make sure it's the obj and place it in sometimes they show up in random places for some reason so now it's gonna show up gray just don't worry about it uh, go ahead and up here there's a little plus open that up and scroll down to shading find texture solid and just check it and it should show your character with all the details. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and move this person to the right place real quick. Okay, so now I've got him in the center. All you really want to do to select parts of the body, you just right click them. And when you've right clicked it, move it directly away from the body, however which way you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, my shift locks for some reason sometimes, so sorry guys. But after you've moved it away from the body, come on shift, <laughs> uh, go ahead and go down to object mode and change it to edit mode. And then on the left side, you'll see a bunch of options. Go to add, click subdivide, scroll down a little bit more, and click remove doubles. When you've done that, oh, gosh, this part's confusing. Okay, you're going to hold down left control and hold down left click. This creates like a lasso thing. It lets you select certain parts. So go ahead and right click the base of the arm, how far, however far you can go and then use that lasso tool to grab the bottom half of the arm. Don't worry about being perfect about it, because you don't have to be. If you get halfway through the top half of the arm, it won't affect it. Make sure you grab every bottom half, and you'll know because it'll be black if it's not selected. After you've done that, just go ahead and down here you'll see all these options. If it's not there, then just click the little green XYZ thingy. Click the rounded arc looking thing and go ahead and rotate it whichever way you want. And then you just kind of move it around however you think it looks best. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and rotate his arm like this a little bit. Go that. And if you go from object mode to edit mode and you haven't like changed anything, deselected anything in edit mode, then it should still give you the option to 
be able to edit that one part of the arm that you just selected. Alright, after you've done that, just push it back against the body however you think it should be. Gotta turn that a little bit more. Alrighty, so now I've got my pose. Um, not very great, but I had to work through this quick. Um, after you've got your pose, just go ahead and this weird looking thing over here is the camera. Just move it however you want to be facing your character. Um, you can also change the global to local if it gets irritating to move. That's usually what I do. And then this round thing right here is the light. You can just it works as any light. Wherever it goes, it'll create light, and wherever it's not, it'll create shading. And to test it, you can just press F12, and it lets you see where your camera is positioned and how your light is doing. If you want to go back and edit, go ahead and go down to the bottom left corner. There's like a portrait looking thing. Click it, and then click 3D view, and it lets you back into edit mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit mine the way I want. Alrighty, so now I got my uh, camera angle and all the lights that I need. Now I just want to go back to 3D view. This is the last step in 3D view. Make sure you have this thing on the right open. It gives you the option of all of these. Make sure it's clicked on the camera. Scroll down to shading. Click sky and change it to transparent. Now you can press F12 and it'll give you like this transparent checkered background checkered means it's transparent obviously but um go ahead and go to image and then save image as save it wherever you want and however you want I'm just gonna go ahead and save it my regular after you've named it and saved it wherever you want just click save as image and then I would recommend saving it when you exit but I never do so it's up to you.